So, I'm here to talk about how the coronavirus may affect people with anxiety. First off, um, anxiety is a way for the body to respond to their environment. And a little bit of fear is good because it can stop you from being in dangerous situations. But everybody, uh, anxiety works different. Some people, when they get in a fearful situation or at the moment this pandemic and people dying of the coronavirus, they just go into denial and carry on as usual or may even put their self more at risk because they're overcompensating for the fears and they may not even realize they're doing it. So, <clears throat> people with anxiety should just follow the Center for the Con Disease Control suggestions and they should pay close attention if they have changed in their eating patterns and sleeping patterns. And um, there's a lot of online help for professionals to help them cope with it. As part two, um, the neurofarmatosis is a disease of the nervous system, central nervous system, and it's unclear how the virus may, um, the coronavirus may interact with the neurofarmatosis, but studies are going on right now. So, um, there's unclear why some neurofibromatosis is more active and make tumors grow more than other times, but it is believed that stress could lead to the neurofibromatosis to, um, act up.